Okay, last lecture, we stop at this example. Mm, all right. Okay. So far, we have gone through uh, a few crystal structure or unit cell. Uh, simple cubic, we haven't gone through because it's too simple. Uh, we assume you know how to find uh, uh, all the calculation for uh, basic cube. Huh? So why basic cube is so simple? Basic cube is look like that. So if it's a simple cube structure, means that each side will fill with one sphere. So one sphere here, one sphere here, one sphere here, one sphere here, same with below. Okay, so you should able to calculate the A and R relationship. Okay, so if you cut the things, no matter when you cut diagonal or you cut the front, what kind of shape you'll see? You'll see like that. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is the R. <clears throat> Sorry, this is the A, this is the R, this is the R. Okay, or, uh, okay, this is the A. So from here, you're able to find the relationship between the A and R. Okay, although there's a space here, you should be able to find the A equal to how many R? Uh, okay, uh, so there's a calculation there. Okay, so I, I won't show you this one. Uh, this one, this kind of question might come out. So I, I won't show you how to do it. So you have to go and uh, think how to do the same procedure as what I show you, okay? Second one is, uh, uh, the second one is, uh, BCC, body centered. Have one inside. Then the rest have four corners and FCC, face. So each face will have one. Then you calculate. So each one you have its own A equal to something R, A equal to something R. And each one have its own packing factor, atomic packing factor, uh, APF equal to what? APF equal to what? Same with this one. This also have APF. Okay. Then we also done the hexagonal KCP with this, with this example number two. We will show you what is A equal to something R or something C. Then also show you the APF equal to what? Okay. So what is in interesting about ACP is that you slide the, you analyze by dividing them into three paralogam cell. So you have one, two, three. Okay, once you've done a, a calculation, then you calculate for large shell. Large shell means complete. Lah. You find one paralogam cell, you multiply by three, you get the large shells. So this is what we calculate. Lah. <clears throat> okay, now we go into atoms location. Okay, previously we look at the cubic, we look at the volume, we look at how atomic can can park inside there. Why why the APF and previous section is important? Because when you create a new material, you want to fit in alien atoms. You want to do alloy. When you fit in, you want to find the space that can fit in the alien atom that you want to. Uh, Put it into the furnace and so on. Okay. Now, um, this diagram should be familiar for you guys. It's a Cartesian plane. So, uh, in this case, your x, uh, of course, it can be uh, adjusted accordingly. There are three axes majorly. So you have x, y, and z axis, right? Um, Cartesian plane have a center where it's zero, zero, zero. Mean you have x, y, and z value. Okay, 
Then to the, to the left is negative, to the right is positive. X come out from the screen is positive, go inside the screen is negative. Z also the same, go up positive, go down negative. Okay, so this one should be familiar. Okay. This one you read, huh? I did explain this now. Okay, now by using the understanding of these uh, axis things uh, for Cartesian plane, you put inside a cube. You put inside a cube. So if you refer to uh, this diagram, uh, you should be able to understand what is the bracket means. Uh. Okay. Uh, if you if the question asks you position, you should be able to uh, put the the symbol. Uh. For this chapter, they are uh, different different symbol. If you use this one, it means something. If you use this one, it means something. If you use this one, it means something. Uh. So first one, we look at the position. Position. We always uh, we typically will use the back uh, the the round bracket. Huh? So any location that you don't understand, you should able to under to see right. So this one center zero zero zero, which is at this is a simple cube. So we always take the the corner at the back as your reference. Then the one that move towards the x, you get one. 0 means y axis 0, 0 means z axis 0. Okay, nah? So this one at the half of the cube means it move x half, it move z, uh, y half, move z half. So you get half, half, half. Okay, uh, it's like playing chess, like you're playing, uh, yeah, the, uh, any type of chess, you have a, a step to jump, right? So same with this one. So these are the atom position at the eight corners, atom and BCC, right? BCC means uh, body-centered cubic. Body-centered means centered, got one atom, right? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the eight corners and one more atom at the center, which is not inside here, which is half, 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 okay? So every time you see the question, let's say, it asks you to, to answer question half, half, half. So it will tell you, like, uh, for example, the question asks you about uh, the basic cube. It asks you, what are the size of an atom that can fit inside this space at the location half, half, half? So you, you analyze. Uh. So by using the, the previous homework that we covered, you're able to find the space between here. So then you find there's a maximum space here, then you're given a table. If with the table, there's an alien or there's a element size that you can fit inside here. You're given the radius of that element. Remember, you solving this kind of question, you are using diameter, not radius. Because this is the, the size that you, you can fit in. Okay. okay. So this one also you understand already. Um, this one same. Uh, okay. Now one is location. Now we go for direction. Eh? So there is a direction of um, atoms. Why direction is important? Because uh, previous lecture we learned about the uh, XRD the machine that scan atoms, right? So when the, when the, uh, let's say you have a BCC, your BCC, so the X-ray was, will bounce here, was, will, will transmit signal here, and it will bounce to as, at a certain angle. So at that particular angle, you have a signal. So by there, you know that there is uh, something at that, at that, uh, this one. So, we did explain what is crystallized structure, right? Um, it basically is like a vector chapter in your mathematics. Vector, you have magnitude and direction, right? So uh, I show you the diagram. See, you're able to relate 
uh, your vector diagram, uh, vector chapter in mathematics with engineering material. Let's look at the first one. First one, if you look at the first uh, arrow here, origin zero zero, right? Uh, so if you are if you are meaning that you are in this direction in x direction, how you write? You write a bracket, the right angled corner bracket. Then if you move in x in one steps, right? In one steps in one, so you write one zero zero. Okay. Now this is position. This is direction. So don't confuse within within the two. Uh. Uh, so in exam, if you write the wrong symbol, although the numbers inside is correct, but if you just put the wrong uh, bracket uh, shape, it means you give the wrong answer. It means you don't understand the difference between direction and position. Okay. Now here, if you look at the first diagram A, O to S, it will be 111, uh, 110. Y 110, X move one step, Y you move one step, Z you remain. Means you move X, you move Y, and then Z you do not move. So you, it got, it, then you, you, you plot the starting point to the end point. So it gives you one direction. Okay. Same with this one. If you want to go to the another corner of the cube, you're actually traveling X, traveling Y, traveling Z. So you get one, one, one. So like vector, it's like playing chess also, but in the three dimensional uh, uh, way. Lah. So here, C, C, you should able to see. So let's say this is move, uh, move one, but Y move half. Y move half, but Z zero. So the original is one, half, zero, right? But in direction, there's no half there. In direction, there is no fraction numbers. Means there is no something divided by something. There's no this, this one. So example B. B, you will get one, half, zero. But we don't like fraction uh, for direction. So what you do, you make the fraction, uh, you, you go to the minimum fraction, Round it up as full number. So here we have two. So multiply by two, multiply by two, multiply by two. So you get two one zero. That's why you get a number two one zero uh, for the third diagram C. And what is the difference between direction and position? I flip to the position diagram. You see how we write the position with a comma the position but the direction you see no comma eh? position no comma one eh? so uh it's a mathematics uh, presentation so uh try not to confuse between position presentation and direction position although each number represent x y z value okay Okay, the third one, the third one is that how you present the negative, negative uh, value. Okay, so if you move from the O to N, you're actually moving, you start with the X first. X actually you're moving negative, right? You're moving back. Then Y also you're moving back. So negative X, negative Y, and Z not changing. So negative X, negative Y, but in position, we write the negative on top of the number. Okay, it, we write if it's negative, huh? for example. Huh? Here, position, you put negative in front. Huh? You put negative or positive in front. But for position or uh, for direction, negative you put on top of the numbers. So this is the difference between position and uh, direction. Okay. All right. So this one I already explained how you get it. So I go very fast. All right. Same. Huh? So 
in this case, yeah, lah, you, the important is the presentation of negative. All right. Now, how you, how you, how you, and then direction got, got angle, ma, magnitude, direction, and angle. So just now we, we talk about the uh, vector direction. Now we, it's also useful to determine the angle between the two crystal direction. So let's say you have two direction and it's a dot product for vector. So this one I extract from a mathematics textbook on the vector. Okay. So if you have dot product vector A dot B, you have a magnitude, uh, call absolute value of A, absolute of B, cos theta. Then you are equal to this AX, i plus a y j plus a z k this is in x y z direction same with b b also have x y z direction right so i means x direction j means y direction k means uh, z direction so if you take a dot b you will be you take the magnitude of a x multiplied by a b you get the first one plus a y b y a z b z. So this one x multiplied by x y uh, y z and z. You don't mix uh, You don't take x multiplied by y. Then that one become cross vector. Okay, cross vector means you cross the things. For example, x y and z. Cross means you use right hand rule, left right right hand rules already. Okay. Now, for example, right hand rules, how you write right hand, right hand rules? Thumb is the one that you want to find. For example, you want to find what is Z. So you use your thumb, and then the positive direction is your finger. So you put on the axis. If you want to find the calculation for Z, you cross your finger X multiplied by Y. Multiply means cross. Uh, if you use right hand rules, mean you cross the things. Means Z equal X cross. Y, but of course you don't use that. Usually we'll have A, B, and C vector. So C vector will equal to A cross B. And there's a calculation if you use cross. You can use matrix, you can use uh, other analysis methods. So this one you go and do your revision. Huh? How you find the, uh, the cost? You take the direction or the uh, vector, resultant vector, Resultant vector means you take A multiplied by B, there's a vector there, divided by the magnitude of A, magnitude of B. How to find the magnitude of vector A? How to find? Okay, already. Huh? So let's say, uh, so magnitude of A will be AX squared plus AX a y square plus a z square square root. This is a vector chapter. Uh, if you forget this one, go home and do revision. Okay, so yeah, lah. so I did explain how to do this one. Um, okay. Then we label the label using no longer use x y z, but we label using u v and w. Okay, u v w means direction in the cube okay so uh okay all parallel direction vector have the same direction indexes uh this means uh, later i'll show you this one it means that u will be uh, means you combine x direction with x direction y direction with y direction z direction z direction okay uh so there's one word here. So sometimes this word will appear in the uh, final exam. So if you see that you are given a crystallographically equivalent, it means that the spacing along each direction is the same. Okay. So what does this crystal like, uh, crystallographical equivalent? So spacing means you move one step, you move one step, you move one step, either in x direction, z direction, y direction. Means you have number, the same number inside your direction uh, presentation. For example, 100, 
and 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, they are the same crystallography equivalent. It means all of them move in one step, one step or one unit, either in X, Y, and Z. It means the size is the same. Okay. Same with this one, negative also same. It means you move back of the cube, move uh, left hand side of the cube, or move down the cube. Okay, it's the same. Huh? So again, presentation for direction negative will be on top of the numbers and not by the side. Okay, so this one very particular. Huh? If you answer, you you forget, huh? you panic, you forget, you write negative in front, I give you wrong answer. Huh? Means you don't know how to present the direction. Okay, so we put a symbol, this one. We put a symbol, a special symbol with this like a bookmark uh, symbol, arrow head. It means all these are formed under one family. They're formed under one family, which each one of these, like they're moving one in the direction. Okay. okay. So if the question give you a hint that um, this cubic structure is a crystalline equivalent, of family bracket 1001. So there are six possible answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. It can either move to the X direction, Y direction, Z direction, or behind the cube. So the the this slide, what is important is when the, you see the question, it tells you uh, uh, you're given a crystal structure with this. Uh, fall within crystallographical equivalent given this number. If it's 200 zero zero means you are looking at the six family here, the numbers become two, 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 two something, negative two or positive two. So your answer will be looking at this six possible answer. Yeah. So other family will be 111, uh, 110, and so on. Yeah, so it is a difference between 111 and 1100 and 110 and 100. Huh? It means 100 means you, you only see one and then the rest is zero. Okay, this one only have one. Huh? Means 111 huh? can be moved 111 in diagonal direction, okay? So this one can be negative one, negative one, negative one, okay? This one also, this one have another, another, I think four, four or five, right? It can be in the front or at the back of the cube. As long as inside the presentation, you see two one, two one number, it can be negative or positive. Is there? Can I? Okay. Let's do this uh, exercise. Determine the direction indexes for the cube direction of the cube direction shown in the figure. So what is the direction for this, this question? First one is the symbol first. Uh, important is the symbol for the bracket. It asks you direction, right? So what is the symbol? Square. So you have x direction, y direction, z direction. Where is your origin? Okay. So you're moving from half of the x. You move cross to y, above y, one over three, quarter of uh, z. Uh, means you are moving z direction. Uh, a half of the z, then you slowly uh, move down to quarter of the z across the cube. Ah. So, what is your x? How many steps you move? One. Y also. One, but what? Positive. Uh. Y positive or y positive? Uh. Y positive? Why, 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 why positive? You move from here to here, right? So your X, your X, your X is 
positive or negative? You, you actually moving back, right? Your X moving back, right? Not moving front, right? Uh, moving back, then move to here, right? So your X is what? Negative, not positive. Y, one. Then, then you move here, here, then move up. Actually, uh, it depends on how you move. Right. Uh, you move from here, here to here, or here, here, also same. Yes. Uh, so it's, it's going down, actually. Your Z actually reduced. Uh, so how many? How many? So you are at half, you go down to one third. Okay, so you move to the, you, you make it become the same uh, dominant, dominate, dominator. So this one multiplied by two, multiplied by three. So this one is three over six. This one is one, uh, two over six, right? Uh, so you are one over six steps. Makes sense. Uh, Important is you know what what whether it's positive, negative, and how many you need. Uh, okay, so negative one over six, but again, direction we don't write fraction. So you change this one to full number. So six, six, one, a negative one. Make sense? Okay, so I'll show you the, the step. Otherwise, you read uh, the thing. So or oh, give you the things. So it, it, it can depend on, on how you do. Sometimes people, they like to shift the origin and so on, but I just straight away uh, uh, shift. Lah. So these are the, the, the long steps. The one that we did on the whiteboard is a short step. So the, the same answer, you'll see the same answer, right? So you'll get, uh, this is a long step. Uh, so actually you are drawing the same vector you just shift the vector up a little bit to zero zero because some people they are not good in in a small a fraction number so this the one that you see you, you see on the uh, slide here is you move the blue vector to the flat surface you move this one to the flop surface but here this one over six is the same thing means you move the vector you know vector can move right so same so you get minus one, minus one, one minus six. So you get the the into a full number. You multiply by six. So six, six, six. But again, presentation negative is on top of the things. Okay. So this is just a highlight lah. There's no uh, there's no comma in the uh, direction. Okay. Now the next one is without giving you the diagram, it straight away give you coordinate. Then it, it tell you that this this molecule or this atom move to another direction, another position. Then it tell you the direction. You need to find a vector. It actually, it's a vector question uh, that uh, you learn in your uh, mathematics chapter about vector like. You move from one to another one. What is the vector, right? So how what is the direction? How how you do calculation for this one? Normally, this kind of question, you draw the cube. You draw the cube first. The diagram also got marks on uh. So you draw a diagram. Draw a cube. Then put the number, uh, the the location inside the the cube. Important is your reference. Where's your reference first? So normally, uh, good practice is at the back, lah, here. Lah. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, then from there, lah, this is X, Y, and the, it depends on your preference. It can be twisted another direction. Important is your origin, lah, your origin. So there's no like one style that you should fix to, but it depends on how you how you draw. So you have two uh, two position. So the first you scratch, uh, okay. So 
Okay, important is your origin is you want to rotate the thing also can. It depends on your preference, but this is the sample answer. So origin, then this one is X is quarter four, uh, three quarter zero, one over four. So X, you move uh, uh, quarter, three quarter, right? Then Z, uh, Y do not move. Why stay here? Then uh, move up uh, one over four. So there's a location here. Then the second position is one over four. You zag, you uh, x, you move one over four, uh, one over four. Then y, you move half. Then you move up half. So there's a location there. So you have two points. Basically, this is a three-dimensional Cartesian problems. Uh, you find the vector. Um, it tell you tell you the direction between the position of this one. So uh, it can be a tricky question. It can be have two two answer. One is from the first point to second point. One is from second point to first point. So there are two answer. But uh, it depends on how the question asks you. But for example, this tutorial question, uh, two answer also correct because it didn't tell you the the from what position to what position. It just give you two and then you predict the direction. Okay. In this case, so in your answer, if this kind of question come in your answer, please draw the arrow. Uh. You're the one who tell us like how you calculate the things. If you draw this one, then you give another answer. It actually is a flip. The answer possibly become negative. Same same things, uh, same, same numbers inside there, but it's a negative. Okay, so the, the, the same thing is that you calculate lah, what is the difference between the, the x direction, y direction, z direction. You actually, you find the differences between x direction, y direction, z direction. So x, so here to here means uh, you take three quarter minus uh, quarter, a quarter minus, right? So you get my negative half, so it moved back. This one is move back, right? Y also, Y move up, you get a positive value. Uh, Z also move up, so you get a positive value. So uh, you need to be sensitive what is positive, what is negative. Then you get fraction, get a full number, convert them into full number. So this one, you multiply by four, you get the full number, okay? Uh, important is the negative sign put on top of the numbers. So nothing complex here. Eh? So the answer is two minus two, two and one. Like this. Okay. Okay. A little bit more, then go for a short break. So the, we already done with uh, position, direction, uh, how to analyze. Uh, then we go to Miller index. So Miller index just now we are having the I think what is Miller index. So they are Miller index means you change all the numbers into U, V, and W. So Miller means he, he, Miller means a scientist. Uh, he developed these systems. Then everyone used the same same coordinate so that you can do comparison between one element and another element. So there are certain steps, you just follow these steps, right? So we're repeating these four steps uh, through the exercise. Huh? First, you choose a plane. You choose a plane that does not pass through origin. You choose a plane. Then you determine the intercept. Means you, 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 you try to find a plane that cut through the direction, that fall in the direction. Then you form a re reciprocal and you make them full number. A full number and then you label H, K, and L. Okay, so for Miller indexes, you're using H, K, and L. So uh, pay attention to the question. If the question asks you to use Miller indexes, means you need to tell us what is your K, or what's your H, what's your K, what's your L. You write H, you bracket, then you, you write your number, then you write H equal what, K equal to what, L equal to what. Now, this is a uh, Miller planes. Uh, planes means uh, you put a 2D 
2D plane there. So for example, the highlighted, the, the plane, the 2D plane is 100, but bracket. Okay, bracket is a plane. So you see what is the difference between position and plane? What is the difference between position and plane? What's the difference? You spot the difference between position, presentation, and plain, plain uh, numbers. No, no comma. La. No comma here. You see position got comma one. La. So uh, be careful in your presentation, your answer. If you accident, you forget, you just write three number to me, it means plane. So if you comma, comma means coordinate position. Okay, so direction also same, huh? direction. Hey, yeah, come. Discussion. Oh, sorry. No, 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 oh, sorry, Shane. Tomorrow we have some event. Uh, Oh. Think whether you heard or not, I'm not too sure. This is what time? things tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I have one class. Eh? So I just want to ask the student. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I have been get Sorry, yeah. Yeah, no. No reason to them. Okay, we stop for here. Then uh, we continue. Oh, yeah. la. No problem. No problem. <laughs>